There are many creatures in Greek mythology, but few are as majestic and well known as Pegasus. Pegasus is traditionally depicted as a pure white horse, sometimes with golden wings capable of flight. The winged steed was the offspring of Poseidon, the god of the sea, and the gorgon Medusa. Medusa was pregnant with Pegasus, but she could not give birth because of the curse placed on her by Athena. When she was eventually slain, Pegasus was born from the wound of her severed neck. There are some varying accounts as to what Pegasus did after birth. Some claim that shortly after being born, Pegasus flew to Mount Olympus, where he would live in Zeus's palace. Zeus gave Pegasus the task in carrying the god's thunder and lightning, and it was during this time on Mount Olympus that Athena tamed Pegasus so that mortals could ride the steed. There are other stories that would suggest that Pegasus spent some time on Earth before flying to Mount Olympus. Whilst on Earth, Pegasus served and aided the two heroes, Bellerophon and Perseus. There were many who tried to tame Pegasus, but none were successful, until the hero Bellerophon was given a golden bridle by the goddess Athena. Upon seeing the golden bridle, Pegasus came willingly to aid Bellerophon in his battle against the Chimera of Lycia. Now considered a hero, Bellerophon decided that he would take his rightful place amongst the gods of Mount Olympus. Zeus was aware of Bellerophon's plan to ride Pegasus to Mount Olympus, and intervened by sending a gadfly to sting Pegasus, dismounting Bellerophon. In some versions of the story, Bellerophon died after his fall, and in others he survived, but he was cursed to roam the earth and never see Mount Olympus. Pegasus, however, continued the journey to Mount Olympus, and as mentioned before, would make Zeus's palace its new home. The hero Perseus also rode Pegasus when rescuing Princess Andromeda, who he would later marry. The Princess Andromeda and Pegasus developed a deep bond, and you can see this connection in their constellations, which can be found side by side. There are some mentions in later mythology of Pegasus and the Four Muses. In these depictions, Pegasus lived on Mount Helicon with the Muses. Pegasus was seen as a great source of inspiration to the Muses, and one day the Muses took part in a singing contest. Their song was so impressive that it caused the mountain that they stood on to swell up in admiration. Pegasus was ordered by Poseidon to land upon Mount Helicon and relieve the mountain's swelling. As commanded, Pegasus touched down and began galloping and stamping down against the ground. Eventually the stallion's hard work paid off, and the spring named Hippocrane was created, and the mountain's swelling began to reduce. It is believed that many of the sacred springs in Greece were created when Pegasus touched down. Zeus decided that he would immortalize Pegasus by placing the winged steed amongst the stars. Pegasus became a constellation and can be seen today in both the northern and southern hemispheres in autumn and spring. Over the years, Pegasus has been associated with creativity and inspiration and is undoubtedly one of the most iconic creatures in Greek mythology. I'd love to hear from you guys. Is Pegasus one of your favorite creatures in Greek mythology? Or like me, do you prefer something along the lines of the griffin? Let me know in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Mythology and Fiction Explained.